Hello and welcome back to Demo Days. This is where I pick out some demos that are available through Steam that I have seen for games that look really neat. So essentially we just watched uh, Summer Games Fest a couple weeks back, saw a bunch of games and went crazy with adding them to our wish list. And we're getting around to playing the ones that have demos just to kind of get a, a hands-on experience of what the gameplay is going to be like. A little bit of a, 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 a demo. That's, that's why they call them that. Anyways, let's go over to the Steam Store page as we check out Sky Oceans Wings for Hire, which, which if you haven't told, been able to find out by now, this is the game that we're playing for demos days. It looked really cool. Uh, the, the art style and the way that things were kind of designed gave me a little uh, reminiscent feeling of Mega Man Legends. Well, not so much like the art style, just the way that the ships were designed. That kind of cube shaped looked like um, Mega Man's ship in Mega Man Legends. And I was like, oh, that, that looks really cool. I'm curious how this game plays. And then I started seeing ship combat and I was like, oh, this is going to be great. But it's more than just a game about ship combat. It's a whole JRPG story type based thing. But it also has some like turn based combat and other mechanics as well, which looked really neat and I'm excited to check out. So for the description in the Steam Store page, Sky Oceans Wings for Hire is a homage to JRPG classics set in the open skies. Experience adrenaline filled turn based dogfights as you take the role of captain and unite a party of ragtag sky pirates setting upon an unforgettable touching journey. It has the tags RPG, JRPG, turn-based combat, pirates, and jet. Which I didn't know jet was a tag, but I guess that makes sense for any of the uh, air combat type games that are out there. The plan release date for this is 2024. It doesn't give you like quarter one, two, three, or whenever it is, just 2024, which is the year that we're in now. And we're about to only have five more months of it. So maybe it'll be out soon. Who knows? Maybe they'll push it into next year. Absolutely fine if they do. Have no problem with that as long as the game is complete, because there is a lot of potential just from what this game is showing that I'm excited for. Seeing the trailer that for this game, I was hyped. Going in, looking at the Steam store page and everything, I'm hyped even more. And I hope to get even hypier by playing the demo. So without further ado, let's get in the game. New game. Oh, we're gonna have like an intro. Glenn's room full of memorable and cozy, uh, full of memorabilia, a cozy and somewhat tidy place. I really messed up on the reading of that. Uh, press F to continue. Cutscene. Hurry up, Glenn, they're almost here. Finally, they were away for three whole years. Look at all these people. There, a ship. Something is wrong. That's not the Valiant. Isn't that a merchant ship? This isn't a good sign. Something must have happened. An air jet is coming. Just the scout? But that's a signal. Ah, it's going so fast. I wish they had voice actors for this. Mom, where's dad? Where are the others? Glenn, I'm so sorry. Is this one of Dad's bad jokes? Come on, Dad, please. 
Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. It was all just a nightmare. A nightmare for a real event that happened the day before. Oh. That dream again? Okay, press F. Yeah, the day my mother came back from the expedition. I keep going back to it over and over. Wait, what time is it? We're almost late for the mission briefing, and we still need to find Mika and Ren. We better go. Alright, so I move with the WASD. Can I use my mouse? Or not my mouse, my controller? Let's do that. Open! We get a repair kit! And true JRPG fashion, we check everything. Because there may just be something. Oh, there's another chest right here. I don't know why you're not gonna let me. Hurry! Alright, uh, I was still checking. Can I, can I run or move or do anything else? That opens up the inventory. Party menu inventory! This is your shared inventory. Here you will find arsenal consumable items and your parts which is equipment as well as other possessions remember that arsenal can only be used while in combat while parts may be installed or uninstalled in shops or inside your airship that's gonna be cool i'm gonna love customizing an airship interact hey it's his dad dad looks like a total dweeb let's leave and go talk to our mama She's just gonna stand right there and she's gonna go over here. Talk to mom. Good morning, mom. Can't believe how messy these numbers are. It'll take me another week to cross check everything. Mom? Ah! Oh, it's you, Glenn. Hello, Fio. Long time no see. Hi! Oh my. What time is it? You had a, another all-nighter. Wait, it's today? Your last mission? I totally forgot. Could you go there later? Most parents will. I'll do my best to go, Glenn. But I'm way behind schedule with my work. I really need to finish fixing these documents by noon. You, you fix documents? I thought you like reviewed documents. But, no hurry. Or you'll be late. Good to see you, Fio. Sorry to bother you. I'll bring something to eat later, okay? Sure. Now where was I? Yeah. Could have been an alcoholic. You know, worst case scenario. Uh, I want a run button. Why is there no run button? La 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 loading screen loading screen only at 87 90 percent 100 is done it's done blossom down known for its vegetables huh that to be known for like flowers or something These are all the places you have to visit and talk to people at. No zoom out feature. Hey, we can run in here. I guess we just can't run inside. Oh, this is so close. I want to move the camera angle back a bit. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, let's save. Continue. Confirm. All right. I don't know if I just saved it twice there. There's all these people. There's random people about and I can't talk to them. Kind of RPG is this? Give me some like fluff things or just some like weird text interactions where it's like, ah, it's a nice day out. That's all you have to say. Good day for fishing, huh? Something like that. Instead, it's just all these kind of like bored looking faced people. Oh, I can talk to these guys, huh? What's going on, Guard Martin? 
The town is brimming with activity. Everyone is preparing for the coming of age festival. And guard Roger. Well, though, it's the same every year. Kids become adults. We eat and dance. Why can't we change things for once? Change. Also, don't know. Maybe we could have a sports festival. Don't let Mrs. Kako hear you saying that. The festival has been part of our tradition for many, many generations. Alright. Yep, it's those guys. Get Helter Stew for Mom. We're gonna go do that right now. Do we have like a mission that we had to go do? Should we like do this mission, this thing that we're supposed to do first before we go get stew for Mom? Are we gonna get stew and then go do the mission? That stew's gonna be cold. Does nobody think about these things? Was that not a thought process when deciding the order of missions? Hey, Gail. What? You need some stew? It's still simmering. It'll be ready in a few hours. That's fine. Can you set a portion apart for me? Sure thing. Thanks. I'll come after our mission. Is your mom okay? I remember the stories your parents told after their voyages. So many adventures. Sadly, those times won't come back. Ah, uh, I might have said too much. Your stew will be waiting for you. Great! Now to find Ren and Mika. Alright, so they, they did think about the order of things. They took into consideration the temperature that that stew may be in. Had it been the first mission. Uh, I don't see anything where we can find Ren and Mika. Oh my god, there's the guard guys again. Are they the same guard guys? I think they're different guard guys. I don't want to talk to them. Hey, a treasure chest. What's the purpose of having that lock on the treasure chest if it's just going to be wide open for me to take things out of? Uh, uh, I guess it's just to set it apart and be like, this is a chest. <clears throat> a chesty chest. Can't you tell by the lock on the front of it that it is a chest? That's what makes it a chest. Otherwise, it would just be a wood crate. Hey, it looks like we're in the area we need to be where Ren is. Oh, it's going too fast. I didn't get to read that. All right, it's just, it's going. There's no voice acting. I can't read it quick enough. Uh, uh. Tell them about romance. All right. Oh, there's there's Ren. Now you gotta go find Mika. Where's Mika at? Oh, up oh, up here. There she is. A loud roar resonating in my dreams. Wind and storm, white clouds rushing through the air. That doesn't make any sense. Storms are not coming during spring, Miss Sage. My dreams are a bit cryptic sometimes. Hey, Mika! Guys, Sage is talking weird again. Weird? Kids, I'm known for foreshadowing the future. It's so fast. And no, I haven't seen Tobar. Your dad? I can't find him. Howler told me he hasn't come to the mines yet. I've searched for him all around besides the hangar area. Can you guys help me? Sure, we need to go there anyways. Thanks. I'll go first and see if I can find him. So, a storm? Dreaming of winds and storm means changings will occur. Will it be good or bad? Hard to say. Glenn, someday you and your friends will believe Blossom. When that happens, you'll have a chance to see this world with your own eyes. Much needs to change for humans to be truly safe. May the winds of change guide your way, young Glenn. I'll be eagerly waiting to hear the tales of your adventures. It's so quick, I can't... It's just so rushed. If you're gonna make it that quick, God, just voice acting. 
Put the voice actors in there. All right, so we gotta we gotta go this way. Over here, wait. Is this this is leading back to my house, isn't it? We're gonna go find Tobar, but Tobar is not gonna be at my house. Why are you leading me back to my house? Oh God, is Tobar doing things with my mom? Get me out of here. I can't run in here. I hate it. I'm so slow. All right, it's this way. This is the mines? It looks like a hangar to me. Aren't you the lady I was just talking to? Yeah, Mika. Where is he? And there's the other guy. There's an old lady. There's a thing over here. There's a guy hiding behind some crates. Why are you hiding here, Mr. Polari? Shh! Don't let Mika find me. I came to see her, but I'm skipping work. I shouldn't be here. That reminds me, Howler was looking for you. He said something about a new machine. Ah, Cavarats. I forgot about that. Thanks for telling me, Glenn. Dad, what are you doing here? No, no, nothing. I was just passing by to check if everything was okay. But shouldn't you be at work now? Right, right. That's my cue to go. See you two later. Poor Dad. He's always so worried about me. After what happened to Mom, he really wanted me to choose a safe job. You know, to stay away from dangers in the mines. But I ended up choosing to be a pilot instead. We'll protect each other. You're not alone. But now it's time for us to start our last mission. Let's do this. Right. So fast with the dialogue. He's a fast dialogue. Come on, let's go report for duty and save it. Bam, confirm. Uh, Minerva. Your team is finally here. I thought you lot had forgotten about the test. Not in a million years. We are almost ready to start the mission briefing, but Fred is having some issues with your air jets. Could you help him? We can't start without that being sorted out. Let me know when everything is ready. Can you go here and have dialogue with this other character? First, we need to go have dialogue with these two characters. Then we need to go have a dialogue with a lady who makes stew. Now we gotta go have dialogue with one of the two characters. Dance! Now can we go have dialogue with this guy over here? Fred. Minerva sent you to help. Excellent. I'm preparing your air jets for the training mission. I'm missing a bit of metal scrap to finish some minor repairing. Oh, and some unprocessed Arius crystals. It's the easiest way to clean the turbines. We can go and get that for you. Good. I'm sure Terry the welder is hiding some metal scraps at the pier. And ask Dermal for the crystals. He is near the entrance to the mines. All right, let's go have dialogue with two other characters in order to get items to have another dialogue with that character. This is great. I mean, I'd much rather go out and combat my way into earning these items and bringing them back to them. But no, let's go talk to people. Let's go have fast dialogues with other NPCs. This is great. I'm so glad I'm playing this right now. This camera angle that I can't zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out, damn you. All right, that's, uh, I guess this is you. Terry, Fred needs metal scraps. What does he think I am? A talking safe box? High quality scrap is hard to come by these days. It's for repairing our air jets. Ah, your training mission. I see, I see. Well, that changes absolutely nothing. I have enough problems without you coming and taking away my... Oh, shut it. You'll get Fred the scrap anyways. 
right? Well, of course, he's THE Fred after all. Why uh, couldn't I? Here, take it. It's not much, but I'll have to do. I got excited because I thought I was actually going to have to go, like, do a thing in order to earn the scrap instead of just dialogue. Tell him to convince the council to give us more coin. The town needs a lot of repairs, and we cannot work without support. <sighs> hey, look! We got coins. The town can't work with coins. Ask the town for more coins. Steal their coins. Oh, another one. Arius Recharge Basic. Let's go get them Arius Crystals. Arius Crystals. Arius Crystals. Arius. Hey, the guy I'm supposed to talk to? Dermil? Arius Crystals? Sure. I have some freshly mined this morning. Be careful, though. They are quite toxic. How has Fred managed to stay in one piece after all these years? I don't know. How so? Well, you know, he never has enough resources or spare parts. So he's had to improvise. Use his, his use of Arius is quite dangerous. It's a miracle he hasn't lost a limb yet. But what can I say? He is Fred. THE Fred. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh god, foreshadowing. That man's gonna die now. Alright, let's go back and uh, give these crystals and scrap metals that we got from participating in dialogues. Back to Fred. Let's go have another dialogue with a person. Mmm, Fred. This will do nicely, thanks to you both. With these materials, your air jets will be as good as new. It's amazing what you can do with such little resources. I'm constantly requesting more budget, but the console has different priorities. Well, we haven't been attacked since forever. The console knows that. Council, I keep saying console. That's no excuse. History has shown that in times of conflict, those unprepared suffer the most. Hmm. Sorry, lad. Sometimes I ramble too much about these things. Tell Minerva everything is ready. The air jets are ready to be loaded into the ship. All right. Yeah, the air jets are ready to be loaded into the ship. I just came over here to share dialogue with you. Let's go with the fast dialogue. All right, Pilot Fred, solved our issues. Hooray, gather up. Let's start the briefing. As you know, today is your last training day. Training mission. Your performance will decide if you can become pilots this year. Or if you have to wait until next year. With the coming of age ceremony getting closer and closer, we don't have time to waste. Our airships, the Valiant, will take you to the training grounds. 50 clicks from the Blossom. You'll be performing basic and advanced maneuvers under my guidance. The later includes combat training. Combat? Of sorts. The Tribe Council has requested us to provide fresh meat for the festival. Thus, as part of your final exam, you'll be hunting albatross. I don't like hunting. But roasted albatross is so tasty. Any other resources you manage to find will also count towards your pilot evaluation. Miss Mira has some words for you. Every year, a new generation of miners, farmers, traders, and pilots graduate, both as specialists and as adults. The Coming of Age Festival is a celebration of both milestones. Becoming an adult signals the start of new responsibilities towards your tribe, families, and yourself. The tribe has high expectations for each one of you. Go forth. Further defense of Blossom. May the fifth winds travel with you all. When ready, let me know. So quick. I hope you appreciate my quick reading. Reach the training grounds. Let's go have a dialogue with somebody else who's ready to have more dialogues. You guys want more dialogues? Are you ready to start the mission? Let's go! 
Excellent. Our next stop is the training grounds. Where you'll go over there and you'll talk to the birds that you'll be shooting down in order to convince them to become meat. Dialogue! It's not even like a choice dialogue. I don't get to respond with anything. It's all auto dialogue. Uh, a world fragmented, isolated, the scattered lands of sky oceans awaits ahead. God, there's going to be so many people to talk in the scattered lands. Blossom system. The skies look clean and beautiful. There's an invisible air current all around us that can destroy your air jet. That's why we don't use air jets to travel between island systems, but airships. The Valiant is strong enough to withstand these currents. Your air jets aren't. There are stories of pilots who manage to survive these harsh conditions. However, never leave the relatively safety of the main island. Ugh. This fast talking. Training grounds used by generations as a hunting area. This place is perfect for training new pilots. Hooray! All right, pilots, listen up. Many generations of pilots have honed their skills here at the training grounds. You'll fly in pairs during the exam. Mika, Ren, you go together. Wahoo! All right. <laughs> All right. Go to point B and follow Mira's instructions. Fio, Glenn, I'll be in charge of your exam. First, the basics. Pilot your air jet along the canyon towards the opening ahead. You can use the objective markers in front of you as references. Watch your altitude and speed. Now go. Oh, we gotta get you to do something that's not a dialogue. Nice. We accelerate and brake with the left. We rotate our air jet, change directions while moving with the right. We use next air jet and previous air jet, left and right, and engage and interact with the right trigger. All right. Wee 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 wee. It's a threat scanner. Nicely done. Now let's spice things up a bit. We have placed several beacons in this area. Pick up at least ten to complete this part of the test. This will ensure that you're comfortable with your air jet controls. Ready? Go! Okay, just tell... just that's how we transfer. I'm gonna get it! Yeah! I got it! Woo! Oh! Yeah! Hey, there's a thing over here. Woohoo! We got a repair kit basic. Uh, where's the other things at? Oh, here they are. I passed one. Did I pass one? I thought there was one like right above me. Uh, uh, okay, there we got it. Now it's time for some hunting. I guess I was being timed. <laughs> See those pink areas, crystals? Albatross love the nest around those crystal formations. Their meat will serve as ingredients for the main dish of the coming of age festival. Hunt at least eight of them. That should be enough to feed the whole tribe. Remember, if you shoot at an enemy from a distance, you'll enter combat with a slight advantage. Use that for your own benefit. Good luck, pilots. We already shot that. Uh... It looks like I'm just really small in a regular sized canyon. Why am I still collecting these? I don't know. There's a thing up there. I'm like pressing right trigger to shoot, and it wants to stop when it's targeted on him. Here we go. Air Jet Combat Basics and Sky Ocean enemies declare their actions at the beginning of each turn. Look at the enemy target icons at the top of each of your pilots to see what their plans are. Look at Turn Order 2 panel to see which actions will happen first. This is very important. Use up and down to select your different pilots to choose their actions with a, a in response to the enemy's plans. 
uh, attack, physical weapon attack, special aerial power, special actions. They can be either offensive or defensive arts, consume with AP, invasion, we invade maneuvers, race the pilot's defense for each turn. Invading also recovers AP at a rate determined by each pilot's stat. Uh, arsenal, consumable items shared among your party members. Retreat, designed to leave the combat. Use this when situations is dire. Some combats, like boss encounters, may not allow retreating. Uh, as you choose pilot actions, keep an eye on your turn order panel as it will change according to the chosen action. Each action has a speed which uh, refers to how fast this action will be executed with the execution phase begins. Action speed is determined by combining each action's base speed with the speed stat of each pilot. Once you have assigned actions to all of your pilots, use the X icon to perform or to confirm and go into the execution phase where all actions will be played out according to the turn order panel. All right, uh, let's attack them. Bam. Let's attack him. Let's both attack the same one. Team up on him. Let's go. Ow. All right. Looks like they're both going to use evade. Uh, let's go ahead and see what specials do you have cold ammo piercing cold damage sure let's try it out what's your special turbo wind energy booster wind enhancement causes rush sure give it a shot let's go hmm. Attack. Attack. Go. Attack. Attack. Go. It's down. Victory. Hey, we got albatross meat. Hooray! What's that thing? I want to shoot this thing. Exploration targeting. You can always take the initiative and fire upon your target to start a combat with advantage. Do so whenever a rectal shows up over an enemy, pressing right trigger to start combat. You can also open treasure chests in the same way, using right trigger to interact. That's cool. Uh, so it has been 30 minutes and I kind of feel like I don't want to play <laughs> much longer. Uh, where am I going? Oh, there's still more albatross and things to fight. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, we'll just stop it here. You can play the demo yourself though. If you'd like to continue on with doing those, we finally get around to doing something. That's not a, uh, talking interaction not a little little text interaction little speedy texts here and get into combat and once i get into combat i'm like all right well i'm done <laughs> we've experienced everything uh i'm not a big fan of i'm not gonna say the game of just the mechanics of the game it's still a demo and hopefully those things kind of get fixed leave some feedback just letting them know like hey can you make so that way the camera can be kind of zoomed out. It's a little too close. Uh, not to mention like the angle too that you're going at where it's like above them. There's no reason to have that angle. Like just a, a third person camera with some zoom out feature is really all you need there. And then the uh, dialogue between like video cutscenes goes way too fast. I need to slow that down. Uh, the having so many dialogue interactions 
is uh, rather annoying, especially when it's just back and forth dialogue. I get that it's trying to like put fluff and stuff in there, but um, going through the process of like, I need to go check and speak with this lady about making sure she sets aside meat stew for my mom later. I mean, you could have just as easily had them just be like, I'll make sure to pick something up for you and then go about doing whatever they're doing. And then I would not be surprised if during training after you're done, it's like, oh no, something's happened. We're gonna, we can't, he can't get his stew for his mom now because some of the town's getting attacked and they need to go out and adventure forth. I don't know, the story may not even go in that direction, but it just, it seemed irrelevant really in that particular situation. Uh, we didn't get into like customizing the airships or anything at all, so we didn't get to see that. Uh, combat is just your typical turn-based combat. A lot of the kind of same mechanics. It's got evade being in an airship. Makes sense to have something like that. I like that the combat is in airships. That's really cool. Uh, I want to see what it'd be like when you have like the big ship entered into combat or even when you fight big ships. If it has like uh, other areas that you attack it specifically. If you want to attack the engine, the wing, the arsenal, those types of stuff. Maybe it'd be more better to separate your party and attack on different parts as opposed to attacking one altogether. Uh, the special move was a bit silly. The freezing bullets where he just kind of like built up a giant ice block at the front and then shot the ice block. Like I was picturing kind of like icy particle effects happening when you shoot with your bullets. Not that a giant ice ball was going to form in front of your thing and just shoot off. I was thinking they were really going to stick with the uh, air combat aspect of it. Instead, it was like a Final Fantasy ice blast that just gets shot out in a ball. Uh, I like the animation style too. The animation's pretty cool, cartoon style on it. Will I continue to have this game on my wish list? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I'll I'll see what the game gets when it comes out. I don't think this is going to be a game where I'm going to be like super excited to get right at the bat or even based on the demo purchasing it at full price instead of waiting for it to go on sale or if I wind up seeing it in a bundle somewhere on Humble Bundle or Fanatical. So I'll be paying attention to it and I'll probably keep it on my wish list so that way when it says, uh, hey, this game's on sale, I can go and check. But I also want to see what other people's reviews are of the game. And uh, I think I'll make my decision based on that. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game demo. I guess I should be saying that at the end. Game demo or demo. Anyways, goodbye.